China is reportedly advancing with the design and construction of the Type 004 aircraft carrier, the fourth carrier for the People's Liberation Army Navy. Construction of Type 004 is proceeding without difficulties. It is speculated that up to four Type 004 carriers may be built, potentially entering service in the late 2030s. The Type 004 is expected to be an iteration of the Type 003 aircraft carrier, featuring an integrated electric propulsion system to operate electromagnetic catapults. Unlike the Type 003, the Type 004 will be much larger and the first Chinese carrier to feature nuclear marine propulsion. This nuclear propulsion could generate enough electricity to power laser weapons and railguns currently under development. The Type 004 is expected to displace up to 110,000 tons and achieve speeds of 30 plus knots. The Type 004 would likely complement 70 to 100 helicopters and fixed-wing aircraft, including J-15 and possibly J-31 fighters, Xi'an KJ-600 airborne early warning and control aircraft, anti-submarine warfare aircraft, and stealth attack drones. Although it was previously suggested that the aircraft carrier could carry J-20 aircraft, the PLA Navy Rear Admiral dismissed this possibility, citing structural design limitations, lack of folding wings, and susceptibility of the stealth coating to degradation at sea. China faces several technological challenges in the construction of the Type 004 aircraft carrier, particularly with its nuclear propulsion system and electromagnetic catapults. A primary hurdle for China is developing a reliable and efficient naval nuclear reactor. Technical issues have reportedly led to delays in the construction of planned nuclear carriers. Overcoming these technical challenges requires substantial investments in personnel training, advanced safety systems, and robust safety protocols. The Type 004 is expected to use an advanced electromagnetic aircraft launch system, assuming it proves successful on the Type 003 Fujian. The US Navy has faced reliability issues with EMILS, as highlighted by a 2018 Pentagon report indicating a critical failure rate nine times higher than the Navy's requirements. Early testing of EMILS also revealed a 10% failure rate, with an average time between failures of 1 in 240 launches. To mitigate potential issues, China has been developing its own electromagnetic catapult system, drawing on technologies similar to those used in electric vehicles. Integrating advanced weapon systems, such as railguns and laser-based systems, presents another challenge. These systems demand substantial electrical power, necessitating an integrated electric system alongside nuclear propulsion. Successfully incorporating these technologies requires overcoming thermal management issues and ensuring the stability and endurance of the weapon systems. China has been constructing a land-based prototype nuclear reactor for a large surface warship, indicating progress toward producing its first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. This project, dubbed the Longwei Project or the Nuclear Power Development Project, involves building a prototype reactor for naval propulsion in the mountains of Muqing Township, near Sichuan's provincial capital Chengdu. Procurement documents indicate that China's 701 Institute, formerly known as China Ship Research and Design Center, procured reactor equipment intended for installation on a large surface warship under the Nuclear Power Development Project.